Today, we are diving into a must-have tool for parents and guardians. It's Google Family Link. If you want to monitor your child's screen time, manage app usage, or keep an eye on their online activity, this is the video for you. I'll walk you through how to set up Google Family Link step by step, so you can keep your child's digital life safe and secure. Before jumping into the setup, here's what you'll need. A Google account for yourself, a Google account for your child, your phone and your child's device, internet access on both devices. Once you've got everything, let's move on to the setup. Start by downloading the Google's Family Link app on your phone from the Google Play Store or Apple App Store. After installing, open the app and sign in with your Google account. Now it's time to add your child's account. If your child already has a Google account, select yes to link it. Otherwise, you'll need to create one. Now, switch to your child's device and follow these steps. Go to Settings. Google. Parental controls. Tap Let's do this to begin setup. Select the Google account you want to supervise. If multiple Google accounts are signed in, the system will prompt you to sign out of all other accounts before continuing. Now, enter the parent's email ID and password. Next, review the permissions. At the bottom of the screen, enter the child's Google account password to enable supervision. Then tap Next and allow supervision. You can now review the settings for Google Play, Google Chrome and Google Search. Tap Next again. Once completed, the child's device is set up with parental controls. Finally, tap Done to access the parental control screen. On the parent's device, tap Done. Once the devices are linked, you will see the Family Link dashboard on your phone. This is where you can manage and monitor your child's device. Now, let's go through the key features and settings. The Daily Limit feature allows you to set how much screen time your child gets every day. You can customize this based on the day of the week. For example, 2 hours on weekdays, Monday to Friday, and 3 hours on weekends, Saturday and Sunday. Next up is downtime. This is like setting up bedtime. You can schedule times when your child's device will be locked, preventing them from using it. This is great for ensuring they get enough sleep and aren't using their devices late at night. Now let's talk about app limits. This feature allows you to control how much time your child spends on specific apps. If you notice they are spending too much time on a particular game or social media app, you can set a daily limit for that app. Just select the app and set the time limit. Content restrictions is crucial for online safety. Here, you can alter content on Google Play, YouTube, Google Chrome and Google Search. You can set age restriction for apps, games, movies and books on Google Play. You can enable restricted mode on YouTube to block mature content. You can also turn on safe search to filter explicit results on Google search. You can just explore these settings to customize content restrictions based on your child's needs. In account settings, you can update your child's name, birthday and password. You can also adjust privacy settings to ensure their data remains protected. This is also where you can manage or stop parental supervision if needed. Finally, the Devices section lets you view all the devices linked to your child's account. You can see their device activity, like how much battery is left and when they last used it. You can also locate their devices if it's lost or if you just want to know where they are. This is a super useful feature to keep track of your child's device usage and safety. And that's it. You have successfully set up Google Family Link and now have a full control over your child's digital life.